The training sessions were very interesting, especially knowing that uh, by companies adopting a, a design culture and a user-centered approach to their products and services can actually bring a lot of uh, impact and change. Well, uh, okay, it was nice because initially it was unexpected. So, yeah, it's like getting a, a gift you weren't <laughs> you weren't expecting. So yeah, it was good. Uh, like. There was no, there was no prediction that there'll be Microsoft training, and then something I'd put in my schedule that I want to learn about Microsoft. So the opportunity was unexpected. Uh, the most interesting thing I learned here was the gamification part, where you can uh, add interesting things to your website to be able to make it more interactive especially with the users. First of all I was not sure what gamification was because I've, I've seen it in some websites and some apps so uh, when she actually explained it that's what uh, that's when I actually clearly understood it. So we, we've been trying to do some of it maybe with social media buttons and all that but uh, through the session uh, she gave us actually more ideas on how to handle it. The part I loved the most was the practical sessions. Um, where we took a break from saying, um, looking at, at information and went to actually doing a few activities. Um, we did a few brainstorming sessions. The thing that caught my eye the most, there's, there's Cheryl talked about designing um, the tile structure for Microsoft, which was, she, she brought a lot of insights and, uh, into how they went through that process, engaging in their customers, engaging with designers and their developers. I've used some of it a little bit and uh, like using uh, 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 the, the sticky notes and I've seen before and I've applied a little bit of trying to post pictures of the inspiration of things but what I really appreciate more is that I, I can be able to integrate more uh, wider approach and then I can narrow down to the other things I can move on and uh, from what I could I can see and I learned, what I saw and learned from the, from the training was that it's usually even more convenient when you use things people can relate to, especially the, the metro style of, of interface that uh, Microsoft tried to, to implement after getting inspired by the, let's say the signs that are used in a metro, a metro bus station or somewhere. In fact, I'm planning to use some of the some of the ideas in a small-time uh, project. Uh, we're actually planning uh, to use it on our site, and uh, we're actually like working on the steps, uh, preparing them so that we can be able to actively now make them go live. So we are working on putting a small interactive chat session on the site just to get uh, more feedback from the customers and make it more interesting, basically. She was good, she was down to earth, she like could relate to her. It was it wasn't so much of like a classroom setting sort of training, it was towards the informal and that's the kind of learning I like. Uh, for Cheryl, I think she was uh, quite a, a good trainer. Uh, we had an interactive session. She was very uh, clear and precise to the point. Uh, Nothing was complicated, and she communicated really well. And even afterwards, she uh, she tweeted me, and we got to exchange a few tweets here and there about how the session was. So I think uh, she really did a good job. Uh, the trainer, she was very enthusiastic, and one thing I like, I like uh, 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 the zeal she had to give a lot of information, the wealth of information she had to share, even to the. Um, yeah to the stage of where if you ask any questions, she will answer. Um, she even went to the process of taking the trainee to a practical session, which is very important because it's, it's, that's what really uh, gets embedded in the mind of the trainees. She was very interactive and very elaborative on the things that she was teaching us about. It wasn't, it didn't seem like some far-fetched um, theory or some far-fetched thing she was talking about. It was 
it was here, it was practical, it was something that I could relate to, something that I could take away in that moment, think about and work on. Yeah.